Hey, 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 it's Jamie. Oh, wow, I need to work on my introduction. Today I have an eight and a half by 11 layout um, of these two photos of me and my boyfriend. This was on Australia Day, but I kind of wanted to go with a really girly layout um, for this one. So I'm just trimming down the photo a little bit because they are such big size differences. One of them was printed as a six by four and the other one is a two by three. So there's a big size difference. So I wanted to trim it down just to make it a little bit similar. And I'm going to do some mixed media today. As you saw before, I have um, this Dilutions ink, which is, uh, I think it's called Peony. Um, and I'm just doing the packaging technique. I'm sure a lot of you probably have seen the packaging technique. It's just where you spray a little bit of water onto some plastic packaging. You just smoosh it on the page. And then this is a... Um, um, distress ink and I think it's it's the coral colored one the old the old one it's not a new one it's an old one um, so I'm just sticking that down with some uh, with packaging technique and then I've gone and got some uh, paper towel just to dab off all the excess and I'm just cleaning up all the excess ink now this ink is um, water soluble so it's really easy to clean up with water you know just one spray and it's gone uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of a cool sort of bleach looking effect. So what you do is you put some water on your fingertips and you just flick it on the paper as you can see that I'm doing. And you let it sit for a minute. I'm putting a lot of water on because I did want it to be a little bit more bleach than what it normally is. And then you wait a minute, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then you get the paper towel and you just sap up all the water and as you can see there's like little bits where the color is a lot less light and as you can see it's featured throughout and I love that look it's one of my favorite things to do it's so quick and easy that background took me oh a minute and a half but if you look at it, it people wouldn't if you didn't know people would think wow how did she do that it took me all of a minute so it's really awesome uh, and because it has me comedian in the background I wanted to sort of have a soft element so I do grab some tissue paper and I grab this light pink one uh, this I got in a present years ago and it's lasted me this long so if you ever get tissue paper in a present keep it you can use it in scrapping it's great it's fantastic you can use it in project life um, card making just Tissue paper is fantastic for crafting in general. Just keep it. If you get it, keep it. So I'm using some double-sided tape just to stick the photo down directly onto the tissue paper. Uh, this was the new roll of tissue of double-sided tape, so it was really hard to actually get the backing off. So I did struggle a fair bit. And as you guys can see, I got some new scissors. I'm so excited. These scissors are giant. They're so big. I think they were in a pack, and the big ones were called dress shears. So... I think they're about 25 centimeters which is really really awesome because for someone like me I can't cut straight and if you're using the same blade to cut you know it's a bit hard to not cut straight if it's the same blade that's doing the cutting if that makes sense uh, and I'm doing the same thing with the little photo just matting it again uh, on the tissue paper just so there's some consistency between the two of them I love having one paper mat be exactly the same on um, multiple photos so there is some consistency otherwise I think it's too blur and out there but each to their own you know that's my style I love doing that I love having consistency uh, in my layouts uh, so I'm grabbing this paper pad this is from the reject store and I'm just going to pull a few random papers out so the colors that I was going for for that sort of pink and then also black and the reason I was going for black was because I was well I do I do uh, some script font so I'm just figuring out how I'm going to use it I love that pink paper it is just stunning the floral one and it's got like pink dots on it it's so beautiful I wish I had like a 12 by 12 but unfortunately you know the reject store they only do 6 by 6 paper pads I would buy this one in a 12 by 12 just for that paper it is absolutely stunning uh, just again double sided tape and I'm just using this little bow one uh, for the tiny for the teeny tiny photo and cutting those out with my scissors this is just layering nothing too uh, full on here I just generally have one photo mat that is the whole photo and then I have ones that are sort of sticking off to the side and sometimes I like to tuck like tags or doilies and I wanted to stick something in here which I tried that one and I didn't really like how it looked so I put that one back and then I grab out this really long white tag which I think is really, really beautiful, but I didn't know how I would ever use it um, because it is so long. So I thought, you know what, I'll put it into my paper layers.
Uh, so I just used some double-sided tape. Sorry if my voice sounded a little bit strange there. I've got a little bit of a cold, so I just had to quickly pause the voiceover and uh, go sort that out. So I'm just cutting off the edge of this sheet of paper, and I'm just tearing it off to get a ripped edge. If you tear it towards yourself, I find you get sort of that white effect, which is something that I really, really like. And if you tear it the opposite way, you don't get that white effect. You just get the pure tear, which if that's what you're into, you know, go for it and that's a really good way to get that so if you pull it towards you you get the whiteness if you pull it away you don't get the white uh, so I'm just sort of figuring out the exact placement of where I wanted to go and I did fill around a lot so I just did have to cut that out because I just sort of wasn't loving it and I was kind of contemplating doing a new background but I thought you know what I'm going to stick to it I'm going to do it so I get some twine out and I'm just putting the twine into that tag hole because I can't leave a tag hole untwined can't do it envy you if you can it's just not something I like to do so I'm just using black because again I really like to have three elements so I've got the black in some of the paper layers the black up the top and I'm going to have a bl the black in the title so I stuck that down and I thought I need something to contain this layout which is sort of what I do when I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable I go straight to a doodly border I love to do a doodly, doodly border sort of straight away because for me I feel like it helps me sort of figure out where I'm going um I, a lot of people I see do it when they're done at the end and you know that's a great way to do it it's just this is how I do it I like doing it at the start so before I started this layout I knew I wanted to use this giant floral piece from the Kayser Croft uh, I think it's Flua collection it's a cardstock sticker and I just stuck it down because I didn't know when else I was going to use it it is giant and there's two of them and it's stressing me out because I don't know how to use them this is the ephemera pack that goes with the pattern paper that I used uh, to mount the photo. So I'm just going through and picking out a few. I had an idea to kind of do like a lot of florals throughout this because it was so pink and girly. But I kind of went against that and sort of went with my stereotypical one cluster down the bottom, tiny little cluster at the top. That's what I like to do. So I just went with something like that. I'm going to try and push myself this year to do layouts that I don't do normally. I've already done about three layouts that should be up um when this one comes up that are very different to things I normally do and I'm loving trying to push myself to do different things uh, one of them was a black cardstock background oh, you can check that one out <laughs> that's on my channel and then I think another one was a 12 by 12 that was a horizontal one uh that was really really awesome and I'm pretty sure that comes out before this one if I've scheduled it so I was just fiddling away sticking around some uh ephemera pieces there they are silver foiled which is a bit different for me one awesome thing about the rejects or if you're in australia and you've never used their stuff before they everything every collection's got foil on it so this one's silver foiled sometimes they have gold sometimes they have copper so go check it out they're awesome they're great they're cheap that are from a pack was four dollars and it comes with like a hundred pieces so they're amazing go check them out i'm not sponsored i just love their stuff i think they're amazing uh, so I'm sticking them all down and I'm fiddling around trying to find some stuff because at this point I was still a little bit unsure of where the layout was going and when I feel unsure I stick my title down. So I grabbed out these gold Heidi Swap ones, these, I think they're called Celebrate, I think. Um, so I'm just sharpening my pencil because I'm going to write down smile because the title that I'm going with is silly smiles so I'm using my pencil to kind of write that out um for when I do my script font because for me I like it to be precise I am a little bit worried going in my script font to make sure it's you know not perfect because you can't rub it out it's permanent so and I have had times where I've had to cover it up so here I am sticking this one down and uh that's just going with the pencil and I'm doing the ruler because it wasn't perfectly straight and then I've got my pen and I'm just going to test it on this sheet of paper here just to make sure that, you know the ink's coming out perfectly uh, I got these pens off eBay I think they were in a pack of three for maybe two dollars in different sizes and this is the smallest size and it's a proper like brush tip so if you press hard you get a thicker line if you don't press hard you get a thin line so as you can see I'm just putting that down so this is going to be smiles and the gold thickers will be silly I kind of wish I did them both in the either the script font or both in the thickers I don't really think these thickers go well with this sort of script font style but I did want something kind of popping out of the page which is generally my title so I've put that down and calling it done I'm happy with how it looks it's just not 
it's not perfect, but not everything has to be perfect, you know. This isn't my favourite layout ever, but it's definitely not my least favourite. I've got ones that I've not liked way more than this. <laughs> I do like it. I do like it. It's just not my most favourite layout ever. Uh, so then I'm just lining up the word smile and I'm sticking it down. I had already spelt it out to make sure I had all the letters because, you know, had to plan it out. Uh, and then I'm sticking down just some puffy stickers. I've gone through this puffy sticker sheet really, really quick. Considering I only do maybe one or two layouts a week, maybe, maybe one. I've gone through it really, really quick. I know a lot of people who do like, you know, five layouts a week. I don't know how they make their supplies last that long. Uh, so here I am sticking down some gold hearts. I have a really cool idea to use this um, when I'm done with the whole sticker because they are all of the hearts are cut out. I have kind of idea to do some like paper piecing on the back and kind of as like a DIY cut file because I don't have a silhouette so you know I can't use cut files and I see all the beautiful things people do with cut files so I thought that would be a cheap easy way for me to try out cut files to see if I like them. So I'm going through my wood veneer box here and I'm just finding some their leaves um sticking them down because I sort of wanted some more floraliness and then in that top corner I just put a heart down that says love and I'm using my wet glue because like I've said in many videos you need some heavy glue when you're sticking down wood veneer or resin pieces because they just want to fall off. So here is uh, my roller stamp. This is by Maggie Holmes and I'm doing always and forever because it's cute and adorable and something I really liked doing and seeing a lot of people doing is ghost stamping. So that is when you do one stamp that is perfect then you repeat it when it is uninked and I think it looks really cool when it kind of fades off into the background. Uh, then I'm going to do another one down the bottom which I think says maybe treasured memories or something. I can't remember. Um, so I'm going to stick that down the bottom there and that one I do three. So one, stamped it off and then I stamp it off again and it looks really really cool because it's got that extra layer of black. So I like to kind of keep into colour selection. So uh, the main colour obviously on this layout is pink and then it would be the black and then I do add a little bit of green like a deep emerald green accents on there as well which I add when I add out my resin pieces the resin flowers I mean all of my resin pieces are flowers I love I love resin flowers they're amazing these are just some clear word stickers from the memory planner collection I don't think they're scrapbooking I think they're for planners but I use them in scrapbooking because I, I don't really care what they're designed for. I'm going to use them how I think it's useful in my needs. So I'm sticking them down and I just put one off to the side uh, that I've cut off um, in that left hand side. And this is when I grab up my resin box. This is my baby. I love this so much. And surprisingly it was quite cheap to put together. The container was about $2 and all the resin pieces were, I would say, about three dollars and I have bought them in years. That's the great thing about buying things you know off of eBay because you're generally buying them in bulk. They tend to last you for a long time. I think I bought these when I bought four years ago. still have run out of them. So they're really really awesome. I think I did run out of pink ones and I had to buy some more pink ones but you know pink is my favorite color to scrap with which is surprising because it's not my favorite color. It's kind of one of my least favorite colors but I love to scrap with pink. It is a beautiful colour. I just don't like it on myself. Uh -huh. So here we are at the end of the layout. Sorry for that rambling about pink and colours. Uh, so I just added a couple of little pink hearts on there. And here we are at the end. I've got a close-up here and I have uh, some close-up photos at the end. Hope you enjoyed the layout, guys. Bye!